The other day, I dared my friend Prince Zam into killing the fourth player in the tablets. Little did you know, that was him. And when you kill someone on this Minecraft server, you gain a heart and they lose one. So I was not expecting him to say this. Shut off myself? Shut off myself? No, do not no. do it. Zam, Here I need go, you boys. in the world to come. No, Here we no. go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm 13. I'm so it seems that Zam may have just discovered a tiny flaw in the server's mechanics. You see, the server gives you a free heart if you kill someone else. And if you die, you lose one. But what does it do if, you know, hypothetically kill yourself? Answer, you get a free heart. I'm getting rid of it. I'm getting rid of the heart. Zam, Zam, don't. Zam, don't get I rid of it. Refuse. Zam, if you can't no. have the heart, no one can. If I oh can't have the heart, no one can. But why were we finding over a single heart? We had the capability to make literally infinitely more. And I had the perfect idea how to use them. A while back, the server had a massive end fight for the Dragon Egg, and I was on the winning side as a wild card. But the most powerful group on the server, known as the Cloud Team, decided to give the egg to Clown Pierce, my arch nemesis. But that wasn't gonna last for long. I mean, I wanted the egg. I knew taking on an entire team by myself would be impossible, but achieving immortality might just change that. Uh, Don, Don, do you have a bow? No, I don't have a bow. I wish I did. Don't get a bow. Oh. Get a bow. Oh. <laughs> we need to keep Zam silent. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And what I have in my hand here is some is the start of something very beautiful and easily something that I already hear Toad Factory. On. <gasps> dude, you're right, on, you're on. right. How I exploited freaking life so to be dude, let's do it. Let's get go. the bows. But the problem is Zam just messaged the owner and snitched about the exploit, meaning it was only a matter of time before it was patched. And if Parrot logged on and caught us using the exploit, we would get banned. But luckily Parrot's bedtime was at 10 p.m. It's already 11, so we practically had a whole day to use it before he could stop us. So I need to kill myself a lot, but if Clumpers was on the server and began seeing a bunch of Radoons killing Radoons messages, he would probably get a bit suspicious. So I quickly devised a plan to get him off the server at least for a few days. Hey clown, I dare you to take over this SMP. <laughs> so of course, I took the bet and got to work right away. Wait, he fell for that? Well, time to get to work. So the simplest way to get credit for killing oneself in Minecraft is by shooting an arrow straight up in the sky and waiting for it to fall. But obviously I wasn't just gonna do that to myself until I was complete certain that it worked. So I got my friend Don turned to do it. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. You, you missed. Damn it. There you go. Okay. That, that That's the first time you shot a bow. That's the first one. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> It worked. <laughs> it worked. And we can literally produce a new heart in as little as 30 seconds. But Zam was on to us. I mean, literally like 30 seconds later, he logged back on and said this. Guys, you can't just be exploiting. That's not fair. It seemed I was left with an ultimatum. Was I really going to achieve immortality at the expense of all my friends? Well, yeah, obviously. Cue the death montage. <laughs>Okay, dying is kind of boring, so we stopped after 20 hearts, but luckily that was enough for us. And good news is, I knew exactly what to do with them. The heart bank. Right. We're, we're making a heart bank. Get blocks. We're, build, we're oh, building a heart bank. It's gonna be incredible. And after doing some construction on our heart bank, Prince Zam once again logged on, and I needed to show him our little project. Welcome to the heart bank. Yeah. We sell hearts. You guys really kill yourselves over and over. Yeah, uh -oh. I killed myself 12 times. He killed himself eight. Why? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, we're going to set up shop. We're going to sell hearts to people. Why? Money. Get the yeah. fuck away from That's me. That's kind Get of away. easy. You're yeah. the one that came That's into like our enterprise. That's literal science. It's called no, your it's charity, charity and also a tax write-off. That is a tax write-off. You're right. You know what Hello. else is a tax write-off? This bitch. Yeah. Oh, are fighting? Wait, oh my god. Yeah, oh, but you gave oh, us no oh, choice. Oh, I'm, in a, I'm in a bad scenario. Red, you don't want to do this. <laughs> This is not you! I need Roche Depot <laughs> games. I need anybody. <laughs> uh, you need me, up. Zam. You need me. You need and that's no, kind of, get the fuck away from me, you need That's kind of the whole the audience. Zam, here's the thing. This could easily end right now. Literally just agree to be our publicity. No! Agree to do publicity! Fuck. Donnie, that, that was kind of embarrassing on your behalf. Being on six hearts really just makes me a, a fucking pylon, doesn't it? You know, you could contribute, right? No, I know, but I'm just like I don't have a I'm shield dead. or I'm any. Dead. Wow. Okay, sick. I wasn't expecting to win that fight. I'm gonna be honest. I was. Good I, job, Red. Yeah, that wow, that was actually impressive. And after getting rid of that minor inconvenience, we finished up construction, and about an hour later, the heart bank was open for business. What's going on? Huh? Give me hearts. This is I need some hearts. 
All right. No, Hot Bank is famed for having hearts, and I require them. All right. Uh, g give me the stuff. Oh my God, you're like teleporting all over the place. All right, let's just make this trade fast, because there's someone that's kind of spooking me out. What? All right. All right, all right. I'm just going to get out of here. <laughs> but, oh, this is real. Oh my God. All right, all right. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Welcome. Uh, to the heart bank, my little Here's land. Here's the sliding glass. Oh, perfect. I, was, I, was, I also want to bring <laughs> one. Okay, listen, man. Do, do you have this stuff? Yeah, yeah. Right. So the exchange rate is two totems. Ha hand them. Okay. Hand them over. Let me, it's, let me see the totems. I trust you. I trust, <gasps> you. I trust me oh, too. Oh, 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 look, dude, look at incredible. these. Incredible. May look I see these. one of those? Dude, here, have a look. Have a look. Okay, this is this is an incredible, an incredible product. Of Dude. legitimate value, and it's very much authentic. Right. Don't so worry about it. You like Costco, here you right? Go. They are quite it. minted why by this legal firework? establishment. Why is it a fireworks star instead of another star? And of course, we now had another problem. For the past hour, Zam spammed Parrot's DMs until he got on and patched the exploit. And just to make sure we couldn't use them, he changed the hearts from being a firework star to another star. Meaning our 20 fake hearts were completely useless but luckily that wasn't gonna stop us because i discovered a way around that i gave planet lord a real heart telling him it was a minor inconvenience and basically to ensure he didn't snitch we know where you live but if we had just discovered that hearts had just changed right now odds are barely anyone knew about that meaning um uh, busy right now nope don't mind me oh okay 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 fine 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 fine, fine. uh what's up with this heart why does it not work why does it not work? Okay, I think the problem is that you're just not understanding, like, you know, what we offer. We offer a product. We don't offer the service. Okay, you're going to have to figure out how to apply that hurt yourself, buddy. See, I knew it was a matter of time before the admins came to shut us down. So I made a preemptive plan for that exact occasion. I realized if I kept the hearts for myself, Parrot would just remove them by force. I mean, that would be pretty easy. But if I were to have distributed the hearts to the rest of the server, he would have to rob everyone out of their hearts that they had just bought. Speaking of which, did you know I was selling the hearts for the same exact resources needed to make real ones? Meaning, while everyone else was buying fake hearts, this entire time I've been money laundering the fake hearts into real ones, aka heart laundering. Okay, a follow-up problem is that there's a rule on lifesteal once again that states if you have 10 hearts already, you can't apply any more that you crafted. Meaning the only way you can actually get hearts above 10 is if you kill other people for them. However, say a person was to, you know, craft a heart and give it to another person, and then kill that person? That technically bypasses the rule, right? That's right, loopholes, baby. So for the next few days, I went around the server acting very sketchy, getting people to sacrifice themselves to achieve immortality. I'm assuming you need hearts. And lucky for you, I know where there's several. In order for me to show you where your objective lies, I need you to grant me the opportunity to kill you. Uh, I'm okay, sorry. I, I got. I gotta do. I gotta do the ritual before your demise, businessman. 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 This may or not uh, be a scam. No! I don't want to be scammed. This I is not. But as I was nearing 20 hearts, I realized a dilemma with immortality. Life becomes invaluable. I mean, I could throw away 10 hearts and still have more hearts than most of the people on the server. Life isn't about living forever. No. It's about finding a vast amount of wealth. And that's when I recalled the one thing I'd been striving to get for months, the dragon egg. With Clompiers finally returning from my distraction, it was time to ask him to meet up and see if we could reach an agreement. You know, you have a kind of nice dragon egg there. But I would I would buy the fake dragon egg off you. Because if you say yay, then you're undervaluing, you know, my business skills. Okay, okay. And my partnership. Okay, well... Okay, so Pierce clearly wasn't falling for my offer, so I proposed something he couldn't reject. A fight. If I won, Klon would give me the egg, but if he won, I'd give him two of my hearts instead of one. And here's what happened. Let's go. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh, he fell. oh poison. There we go. Oh! Oh, he's poisoned. Oh wow, that oh that's a that bow is OP. Oh my god, the freaking knockback on that thing. Oh rip. GG. Oh my god. Dude. Bro, we did that. Dude, my durability was so low on my armor. Well, 
there goes two hearts, but that was practically cheap change. I could get those back in minutes. But for Clompiers, I mean, that guy had fallen from multiple traps in the past week. So, I mean, consider this a charitable donation to the less fortunate. <laughs> Nonetheless, his boosted pride from the fight will lead me to getting the egg. As in his triumph, he had let his guard down. The most important part of business is that everyone can be bought. And this time, it was one of his closest allies. You see, later that day, I had overheard that Clompiers was boastfully keeping the dragon egg in a secret monument that only a select few knew about. In exchange for the low price of one heart, I found out exactly where he was keeping it. And so that night, after Clompers logged off, I made my move on the egg. <gasps> There's no way I could just come in here and take the egg, right? <gasps> no, not that. <gasps> and we're getting out of here. <laughs> Honestly, that was a bit too anticlimactic. I was half expecting there to be like a trap or something, but nope. The egg was just kind of sitting there. Anyhow, once again, victory's mine. But right, you didn't achieve the immortality. You're only on 11 hearts. You see, Jimmy, after that, I did some business deals. Uh, Woogie, you wouldn't mind dying a few more times, would you? Wait, what? Here we go. 20 hearts, baby!